understand it. I'm not a jealous person. I was gifted with that. If I see someone that succeeds, I'm happy for them. I don't care if he's eating, taking my spot. If he makes it, I'm happy for him. And I'll try harder to get my spot the next time. I've never had a this of jealousy in me. So when you people out there talk against me or talk bad against me, I don't care. It just flies all over because I, 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 I know you don't know what you're talking about and you don't mean it. But I've never been jealous of anybody. And that was one of my biggest uh, if I could say. How can I say Qualities? that? Qualities. Qualities. Yeah. That was one. And I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in life because when you're not jealous of anybody, it makes it a lot easier. So, so some of the things are I've, I'm handicapped with, but some of the things I was blessed. Mm. And that's one of the things. So when I see, and I want everybody out there to know, every wrestler out there that degraded me or talked bad about me, I, I don't care. It didn't touch me. I want you to join Wrestling Academy. And I want you to win it. And one day if you win it, I want you to come see me and say, Jacques, thank you. Mm. That'll be fun. I, I don't have any animosity yet with anybody. Anybody. And uh, I'd mentioned him just a little bit earlier on, but uh, Carl Ouellette spoke very highly about you. He spoke about what you did to help him, oh. uh, much like how you want to help you know, other wrestlers here in Canada now with Lute Academy. You know, Carl Ouellette, I like that guy a lot. And uh, we spoke just last week, by the way. Oh. And um, I like that guy because uh, he does give me the recognition. And for about 10 years, he was trying to get in the WWF. And those days, it was a lot harder than today. It was harder in those days when all the superstars were there. It was really hard to get in. And Carl came to see me in Puerto Rico. And he probably told you the story on the beach when he came to meet me for the first time. He, I was wrestling Abdullah that night and he was in the first match of the evening. And he came to see me on the beach and he said, uh, Hi, Jacques Rougeau. He says, I'm Carl Ouellette. And then at the end of the, all this introduction, he asked me, he said, Do you mind just checking my match out? And just that's all I'm asking for to check my match out. And, and, and I checked this. But, but what, what I was trying to get at. What was I trying to get at? See, I'm getting old, Jeremy. I'm starting to... <laughs> but there was something about that story about Carl that I really liked. That he gives you the recognition. Yeah, that, uh... yeah. Oh, no, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. He for, for 10 years, he tried to get in the WWF. For 10 years, he was sending tapes. And that's what he told me on the beach. He said, I send tapes to everybody I know, but I've always been put aside, put aside. And I looked at him. I said, well, you give me this. You just come with me. Let me deal with something. I'll, I'll get you in the... I, I didn't even know I was going to be partners with him. You know, I just... At the time, I said, I liked what I saw tonight. I looked at him working on a thing. I said, I'm going to help you. And and, he, and today, up to today, everything that he's got, he would have probably... What he doesn't know. He always says in the interview, he says, hey, it's thanks to Jacques. I got in the... That's not true, Carl. I helped you get in. But if it wouldn't have been me, it would have been somebody else because you're talented. So you would have made your way anyway. I